Good evening everyone and welcome to the 6th annual Gloucestershire Women in Business Awards. This event celebrates the very best women in the county and the work we are doing to make Gloucestershire a brilliant place to do business. We have a simply stunning array of entrants in this year's awards. These awards are a vital way to highlight the success of women in our business community, from the boardroom to the shop floor. And boy, do we have some real success here in Gloucestershire. I'm really honoured to be part of an incredible celebration. I think there is amazing talent in this room. I gather there are over 200 women here who all have amazing success stories. So to be asked to tell you a little bit about my journey is actually quite humbling. Yes, there are winners, but there are by no means losers tonight. All of the names on long lists, short lists, everybody here has done an amazing thing. So for all nominated, a round of applause for everybody. So on with the show then, and tonight your first category is Female Apprentice. And Female Apprentice goes to Shannon Keating. Next up then, second category, Young Entrepreneur of the Year. Sponsored tonight by Heather Resource Management Limited. And the winner is Suzanne Moffat. Now, as somebody who once at Radio Gloucestershire did indeed have a mentor, I do understand the importance of this next award. Mentor of the Year, sponsored by Ellis Clues. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the Mentor of the Year is Miranda Jenkins. To the fourth award. And this evening, it's contribution to the community. This has been sponsored by Gloucestershire County Council. And the winner is the Wiggly Worm Charity. Uh, OK, next up then, Communicator of the Year. And I'm delighted to announce the winner is Silver Ball PR. <laughs> up next then, your sixth award tonight. Uh, this is Family Business of the Year. And the winner of Family Business of the Year is Eye to Eye Recruitment. <laughs> this is New Business of the Year. It's always great to see a new business pop up. And the winner of New Business of the Year is Tonic. Okay, eight category then this evening. Business of the Year. This is sponsored by Cheltenham Racecourse. What a great venue. The winner of Business of the Year is Reuse a World Limited. On now to the penultimate category this evening. This is for Outstanding Achievement and it's been sponsored by Barclays. I'm honoured to announce that the winner is, of course, Julie Stokes. Um, she's sends her apologies that she can't be here tonight and that she'd like me to send her grateful thanks. Final award. There we go. Tonight, the award of Woman of the Year, sponsored by Grundon. Supporting and applauding successful women is something we always want to do more of. So therefore, I'm delighted to announce the winner of the 2015 Woman of the Year to Claire Janik. <laughs> Well, it was really exciting from when you first walked in. It was just a real buzz to it. And the whole place has been done out so nicely. The flowers are lovely. The food was fantastic. From the minute I walked into this room, there was just the most incredible atmosphere. This is a huge space, but they've made it cosy. They've made it fun. This is full of women who have achieved so much. It's important to celebrate the good that we do, just as well as the men. You know, we can do as well as the men. It's brilliant because we need it. We need that support. And also, as a business owner, you don't often get a pat on the back. So for actually to get the recognition that we're doing something right is, is really good. Winning this is pretty great. And it just goes to show that if you aim pretty high as a woman and become a CEO of a business, you can be successful and recognise success. I think it's a really great opportunity for small local businesses and really good to recognise all people in business doing well in the community and great to meet everybody, celebrate success. 
I'm so overwhelmed, I really am. Um, I didn't expect to win. I was up against some absolutely amazing women. Um, I, I'm so excited to have won, but uh, I suppose it really is lovely to have been recognised for some of the work that I've been doing. To give these women recognition for what they've achieved, I think is just wonderful. I think it's really important to, to recognise the hard work that goes in and the professionalism that women can achieve and especially I have to say for working mothers who can balance all of that I'm completely pro that but just pro women in business is a good thing for me. Ladies and gentlemen I'm delighted to have been here tonight and I'm sure you like me are overwhelmed by the enormous energy, talent and innovation of tonight's finalists and winners. Congratulations to you all you should all be very proud and I'd like to thank you for coming again this evening and I'd like to thank our sponsors for supporting us. So if I can thank them one by one again. So our title sponsor and Woman of the Year sponsor, Grundon, thank you very much for your support. <laughs> Young Entrepreneur of the Year sponsor was HRML, thank you. <laughs> Mentor of the Year sponsor, Ellis Clues, thank you very much. <laughs> Contribution to the community sponsor, Gloucestershire County Council, thank you. Business of the Year sponsor Cheltenham Racecourse and thanks for putting on a fabulous dinner as well. Outstanding Achievement sponsor Barclays, thank you very much. And our car placement sponsor Johnson's Volvo, so thank you, all of you. We couldn't do it without you, so thank you very much.